Hey you guys, so I don't normally do natural hair tutorials or anything like that. I usually refer you guys to some people that I follow that I keep up with. But for this instance, I wanted to show you how um, I rejuvenate my hair. It's been about, normally I moisturize and seal my hair almost every night or every other night. I never really go two to three days without doing that. But in this instance, I've gone like three days without doing that. And as you can see, it is very... Um, bird nasty I guess is the word so the products that I'm going to use when I like to when my hair is past the point where I've done it I've kept it moisturized and sealed for two for two days every other day then I have to use something a little heavier than my um, natty butter so I use what I use when I um, wash my hair or, or clean my hair I use the um, I love my fro shea butter shea butter whip okay and I never run out of this and I usually always keep it in my refrigerator so that it's cold um, but I always have one in my shower as well because that's where I clean my hair and I also put um, aloe vera juice in aloe vera juice not the gel aloe vera juice in um, just an old Carol's daughter bottle and I use that I don't add water to it it's just straight aloe vera juice and I'm also going to because I don't want to um, clean my scalp this today I'm gonna to be using for the first time tropical roots shampoo spray it's like a dry shampoo I'm gonna try that as well so I'm gonna section my hair I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what I do or how I do it so I just take the um, top part and just do like a loose two strand twist just a plastic comb plastic clip clip that and I usually do about three to four sections and this is the last section and just pop that bad boy up there like that okay so I'm gonna make sure I'm in focus I didn't do that before but I'm making sure I'm in focus I don't have my uh, laptop set up for me to do it remotely so anyway I'm gonna take this first section Ooh, and I'm gonna split it in two and I just think that it's easier to work in these smaller sections and I'm trying not if I detangle I'm just trying to detangle with my hands and get as straight apart as I can y'all see all the foolishness that my hair goes through lord jeeris okay <laughs> oh my goodness okay so i have this section here i like to do big twists okay i'm gonna take the dry shampoo and i'm going to really saturate the roots the back part where it, the part is right there bottom section and the front I'm only going to do the roots and I'm also going to part this a little bit and do the inside middle part right there okay now it says to saturate it and then I'm going to work it into my scalp for about three to five minutes I'm holding the ends so that I don't cause um, any extra unnecessary tangling and I got to get that part that's running down Ooh, Lord, yeah. Okay, so now that you've worked it into your scalp, this is only, don't only do this part if you want to um, clean your scalp without actually having to clean your entire head. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray on my aloe vera juice all over my section. And this is what I'm using as a moisturizer. Again, I don't add water to it. I just do straight aloe vera juice. Okay, then I'm going to take my I Love My, Love My Fro Shea Butter Whip. And I'm using a generous amount. I mean, I'm you know more say that more so than I probably would if I was wet if it was wet because I kind of want it um, mostly dry by tomorrow so I won't look completely completely crazy when I go to work okay all right so now I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to separate it if you need to again try to stay in those same sections so that you don't, if you do detangle, be careful, take your time. You don't want any extra breakage. I try to be gentle with it. Sometimes I'm not. 
and I'm just going to twist this all the way down to the ends. I wanted my husband to take me to go see Noah, but he's talking about tonight at 8 o'clock. Ooh, y'all. Yeah. I gotta go to work tomorrow, too? No. Take a little bit of that I Love My Fro Shea Butter Whip, put that on the ends, and curl it. And then okay. use a sealant whip. You'll feel a difference. You can even see. You can even see a difference between the hair that's twisted and the hair that's not. I mean, you can tell this one has been rehydrated and moisturized and sealed. You can tell. I, I hope you can. I, I, I can. I'm looking in the camera with you, so. Oops, oops, oops. I lost my end there. Okay, a little bit of Shea Butter Whip on the ends. Okay, you guys, so I'm all done with my twist. It's about 16, and you can tell that they look moisturized. Let me see if I can turn. You can tell that they're moisturized, right? It looks a lot better than when I started. This stocking cap on, and then I put my bonnet on. Yeah, like that. Now, in the morning time, if my hair is not dry, I will try to show you guys like a little style that I do. Good morning, guys. Okay, so I know my hair is not dry. And I don't want to run the risk. Y'all know what happens when you take your natural hair out and it's not dry. Hot mess, right? Okay, so what I like to do is basically braid the back. And I hope I'm going to turn around. Hopefully I'm in frame. So I like to take my plaits and I'm going to braid the back. Okay. And you're kind of left with this little piece here. You're going to tuck that under. And then you're just going to bobby pin. Secure that with some bobby pins. Okay. Then for the top, for the top, I like to just bring back. I leave the front part out. But for the top, I leave, I bring back and I kind of just twist them together like that. Just twist and then I also tuck that under and I secure that as well be careful with the with the pins I hate getting a pin headache in the middle of the day just ugh. okay so I'm gonna show you the back and then for the front you can do whatever you want with the front you can even do a little, you know, twirl piece or something like that. And I just pin it down. You spent a lot of time on your hair, but you really didn't. And that's it. So I'm going to wear my hair like this today. A day. Hey guys, good morning. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so I'm going to, yeah, it's dry now. Okay, so I'm going to take down this one, and I don't really pay attention to like where I split it. I usually just split it. I don't really worry about um, frizz and whatnot because uh, where I live, it ain't going to make no difference. And I like big hair, so I'm rushing. I would suggest you take your time, which I don't have. So, yeah. I'm going to take down, separate, and be right back. Hey guys, so yeah, that's it. That is how I go from very, very dry, uh, you know, hair probably needing to be cleaned to stretching it for another week and re-moisturizing it. Um, um, yes, y'all. Been pre playing in some makeup, uh, AJ Crimson. But anyway, that's today. There have been so many different faces in this whole video. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Hope you guys have